we're back here again trying Brandy Melville for the second time. <laughs> if you saw our last videos together, the links will be in the description box below. Sierra and I tried on the exact same sizes from really inclusive, body positive, body confident stores like Target and Aerie. But today we aren't really doing that. No, it's <laughs> gonna be a little bit different. <laughs> Sierra and I have both previously done videos exploring the world of Brandy Melville. It's if you a guys, dark world. Yes. <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with Brandy Melville, it is a really trendy, popular clothing store that only offers one size or one size fits small clothing. And today we decided to go back and give it a second chance. Why you ask? We don't know. In all seriousness, we are filming this video just for fun and for entertainment purposes only. We don't actually expect to walk into this store and have everything fit us. We do have high hopes, but we're keeping our expectations pretty low. Sierra and I are both also aware that Brandy Melville can be a very hot button topic on YouTube, <laughs> but we figured we would give it another go and see if we'd maybe be less disappointed this time, maybe by some chance Brandy Melville has like heard people's cries and they've decided to make their brand more inclusive. We don't know. Spoiler alert. No. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing a video showcasing the items that do fit a mid-size, size 12 body or shape, then make sure you check out the video we did on Sierra's channel where we went and selected all of the items that we thought would fit a mid-size body. And she actually did find a few, spoiler alert. There were a couple, and there were also a couple in your video. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see. So with that being said, let's go ahead and shop at Brandy Melville and see what happens. <laughs> Obviously, because it's one freaking size. I'm gonna try it on and make him jealous, hopefully. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm like looking through these, expecting to find a size, obviously can't. <laughs> Very obviously can't. But I am determined to see if these will work. I don't know why, I just have a weird feeling about these that they might, so I'm gonna grab them. Skylar found these and they kind of stretch. <laughs> so we're gonna add this, <laughs> hopefully these work out. So as a little bit of an overview, just to show you what I have so far, I have this pink polo, which is a one size. It is very, very tiny, but we're gonna see how this goes. Then we have this blue, like kind of navy blue polo dress in a size small. This was the only size they had available. And this looks like it's going to be very tight, but again, we will see. They do have a decent selection of oversized sweaters. So I figured I would grab one of these. Again, another one size situation. I like this. I actually think this might be totally fine. Have high hopes for this one. I also grabbed just this cropped one size button up sweater kind of like a cropped cardigan type of situation. I'm putting a lot of faith in this guy. <laughs> I found a one size cropped gray top that I actually think seems pretty stretchy. So I have kind of good feeling about this and it seems like a really good kind of soft material that will be forgiving. So we're gonna try this one. I also found this butterfly hoodie that I'm actually in love with and I don't really love hoodies a lot, but I'm really drawn to this butterfly and think it's super cute. So one of us is gonna try this one. Then to go with it, we have some like kind 
kind of jogger type of pants that are striped. I think these are supposed to be kind of like Adidas pants. These are also a one size, FYI. I also found this kind of like slightly like off the shoulder one size cropped red top that I thought would be really cute with this skirt. I can't promise that this skirt is gonna zip up. It is a one size, one size. But again, we're giving it a second chance. So we're gonna see a couple of pant options that I found was this cargo size, which again, Legs wise, it doesn't look terrible, but waist wise, yikes. Also found these guys, again, one size, but they do have a stretchy material on the waistband. So I mean, IDK. And last but not least, we have these bike shorts that are just your standard, traditional, one size bike short from Brandy. And I thought it would be cute to pair those with this band tee. So here we go. I'm gonna separate some of these, give some of these outfits to Sierra. I'm gonna try on some of them myself. I let Carrie <laughs> pick everything for me, and yep. then I picked everything for Carrie for my videos. So I have no idea what I'm about to try on. We're in for a treat. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope for better luck than what we had last time. Let's go. So just being 100% real, this is how the bike short situation is going so far. This is possibly the worst thing I've ever worn in my entire life. Hopefully things will turn around. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate this look. Like, I don't hate this shirt at all. I actually kind of love it. The bike shorts, zero out of 10. Can't wait to take them off. But honestly, like, if I was wearing these with my own bike shorts, I would be having a great time and living and thriving. Okay. That, that actually, looks so cute on you. I was gonna say, like, I actually really like that. Well, I'm surprised because we filmed my video first for my channel and none of the jackets fit. But this one, there's room in the chest. So cute. It's room in the stomach. It's comfortable. I really want to try that on next. Yeah, no, you should. It's I actually cute. Cute. love this shirt. Like I was just saying in the dressing room, like I would even like get it and crop it. And I like this outfit if I was just wearing my own bike shorts. Yeah. Like, uh, I, how do the bike shorts fit you? Like the worst thing. <laughs> These leggings, they're actually not the worst. Like I wouldn't they buy them. They look cute on you. See, you can tell that they're too small because look how the pockets are gaping. Like they're supposed to line up like that and my thick thighs are stretching them out. Well, they look oh. good. <laughs> I wouldn't put these on and be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Like I feel okay. This, this jacket I think is a perfect fit. It actually looks so cute on you. Yeah, like if I had the option to size up, I wouldn't. Like I think this is the right fit, but the pants are definitely a little tight. And I would have to say the same thing about the shirt. Like maybe I would go with size up just because I prefer like bigger tees, but yep. like this fits. It looks I'm cute. Sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys, I don't think I can come out there. <laughs> are you guys ready for this? <laughs> we are a sight right here. I don't know if they can tell on the camera, but I've got the leggings on because <laughs> pants only go up to here. The shirt's actually not the bad, and the shirt looks good on you too. Oh, but really? The, okay, so oh. if this is where the boob is supposed to go, if I pull it down to like under, that's what <laughs> if I pull it up to where I think this should go. Sierra was saying it was like when you go to your friend's house, and you're like, can I borrow some pants? And then this is and what then happens. Then you're, you're and last but not least, we have our little schoolgirl number. I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> feel so hot about this. But I'm gonna put on a happy face, I'm gonna be brave, and we're gonna do this damn thing. I'm sexy and I know it. This is monetizable. Is this? <laughs> I would think that this would be the area I would have issues with the buttons, but here it lays relatively flat. It's Even in the here. Yeah, yeah it's, like it's right my hips and my butt that are stretching the fabric so much that the buttons pull and show what I don't want to show. I um, had to maneuver this for like 45 full seconds. The top, the top's top, not bad. No, not at all. Like if I were to wear it with some like high waisted cargo pants like I mean, we were wearing earlier, yes. super cute. That actually be really I cute. actually am not at the top at all with Props proper. to you for putting Thank the you. skirt on. Not all superheroes wear capes, you know? I think about young girls who probably come here on their own, maybe with friends who do fit into clothes here. And it's nice being here with you and I yes. and Skylar holding the camera who we're just laughing at it and having a good time. But if I would have come here, you know, 10 years ago when I was 13, it would not have been there's such like a to funny thing. That there really is. And there's tons of comments that we get on our videos that are really similar to them. Yeah, so that's kind of why we wanted to just show that it's not a big deal. Yeah, if it doesn't zip, if the button's full, like laugh it off and it's not your fault. It's the clothes that are the problem, not your body, so. Retweet, 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 retweet. <laughs> so I mean, I think we did okay. Yeah, go. Who knows to us? We tried, you guys, we tried. Yeah, this is what 
what happens when you do something that you know isn't going to turn out well, but you do it anyway. Yeah. This is what we get. So. That's what you get. And now we're going to go home and drink wine and put on sweatpants. Cheers. Guys, we did it. We did, we did it. it. So we will talk to you a little bit more when we get home. So all in all, I think it's pretty safe to say this was a massive fail, which we definitely expected. I think the worst was the pants. When you were in the skirt and I was in the pants and we both walked out and were like waddling because of how <laughs> tight they were. In all fairness, there actually were a couple items that we would have totally considered purchasing. But like we said in Sierra's video, it's really important to put your money where your mouth is when you're dealing with companies like this, at least for us. We would really like to shop at stores that include our size body. Not at all saying that's what you guys have to do. That was just a personal decision for yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, it's up to everyone to make their own choices and no judgment to anyone who shops at Brandy Melville because their stuff is really cute. Like, like I really get cute. it. I just think that the clothes that we found at Aerie and Target in our first videos were a lot better for us. Absolutely. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the video we did on Sierra's channel where we picked out some items that we thought would fit a mid-sized body. Just kind of like a different take overall on what we did today. So thank you so much for being in my video and doing this with me. If you guys have any other requests of videos that you want to see Sierra and me do, definitely leave them in the comments below. We have so many, we have like a running list of ideas that yeah, we want to do we need together. to create like a Google Doc where we just have like <laughs> all of the ideas because there are so many in my so brain. So many. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.